So, but first of all, before I jump into the point and figure chart, what I would like to mention about a few words uh, on the point and figure is, well, it's, it's a tool or it, or rather it's just another chart, uh, like, like a candle, candlestick, bar chart, rainbow chart. It's just another type of the chart that we can use uh, to do the projection, but don't treat it like a magic. So just like the Fibo, Fibonacci, you can use the Fibonacci expansion, uh, 1618, uh, or the other type of the ratio, you, you can do the, the projection, but don't treat it like, like a magic. But because uh, from my experience with the point and figure is relatively uh, accurate, I would say, uh, when it's working. <laughs> so that, that, that is how I would treat it. Because first of all, like I mentioned here, I have estimated that there is upside target for income is about 2.5 and 3. Or you can just uh, average this, maybe uh, 2.7 or 2.8. It doesn't really matter. But what uh, I generally do for the point and figure is that I want to make sure that there is enough fill in the tank so that there is further upside. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it will just go that go up immediately or uh, it will reach there for sure because we don't really know sometimes there is failure sometimes um, the market get hit and then all the stocks that just reverse so it's just a, a tool for us to uh, do an estimation so for example if i want to uh, trade this uh, i think i i did cover income probably last week um maybe let, let's bring this chart here so let's go to Ancom. Yeah, so I think at that point is somewhere around here. So I I think that at that point I mentioned it's probably worth or um, if you want for aggressive trader you can take the breakout. So that's the breakout trade. If you if you take that, you probably can can ride along. However, before you take this, some people will be wondering whether there is enough uh, upside ahead or whether it will just sort of break out and then just uh, drop back down and then go down. So definitely, first of all, it still go back to the, the structure. So this is uh, quite a typical uh, accumulation or reaccumulation structure with the supply decreasing, followed by urgency. So this is the uh, urgency of the sign of strength rally and followed by a very shallow type of the, the backup action. So probably this is a, a point, an entry point or aggressive entry point that is worth to take because of the, the urgency and also before because of the reaction that uh, we have seen here, which is very shallow. So this is a, a strength uh, by its nature. So if you just buy it here, break out, to about two or even at a close, uh, maybe 2.205. And you can just rely on this point of figure. At least I know that while well, it's probably going to have some more fuel in the tank to reach the upside of about 2.5 to about three. So at this point that uh, I probably will, will be quite comfortable uh, still holding these stocks. However, it doesn't really mean that the stock will need to keep going up and eventually it's probably um, going to, to reverse at some point. So for short-term trader, you might just want to just keep keep trailing. Uh, I think this is another stock for, um, and sorry, another question from KH regarding Hong Seng. I think it's probably mimic similar kind of the movement. It's a very sharp kind of the movement because quite a lot of the time, uh, people tend to take profit quite early, but if you just look at this, um, at the moment, if I really want to analyze this, I will say is in a climatic move. So it sort of uh, have a climatic run up and followed by a climatic volume. So we definitely need to be very careful. And if I just jump to the hourly time frame, okay, I definitely see that there is a shortening of the upward trust. So this is a shortening of the upward trust. And if we compare this last two volume, there's a ton of the supply, 
a lot of the supply come in um, that kept the movement up. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a reaction. So despite that there is a further upside target, uh, we probably can uh, it, it probably can do something like this from a another trading range, maybe like this or even deeper, and they will probably uh, can have some more reaccumulation and then to push up higher. So that's uh, my view. So that's why uh, whenever I have this uh, point and figure chart, I calculate in uh, various type of the segment. So got two, two, one, five. So whenever the segment reach, for example, like, like this, I will just sort of pause and look at the chart. So you can see that this is a uh, two to two, one, five. This sort of match my, my first target. So there are quite a few targets. Um, the blue line, this is segment. And also I think the full count, this is the full count. And I think this is the, the middle count. And when you, when you hit about 2.5, maybe there, there are 20 cent, 2.5, although it's probably reaching my first target, but it doesn't mean that it will reverse from here. So it's very important to just look at the, uh, the candlestick chart or the so-called vertical chart and just to make sure that there isn't much supply and also there is possible uh, momentum ahead so that you can just keep going up. Maybe you can just keep pushing up and I have a, a change of character and maybe you will do something like this to reaccumulate before you can just go up to 2.5 to 3. So it, it really depends on your, your time frame, your duration. So for short term swing trader, uh, whether you want to just catch this one swing. So when it reverse, is it done or whether you want to sit through this trading range. So it really depends on your trading style and your holding duration. And of course, uh, we need to check the supply very closely. All right. So this is a uh, income and back to the point and figure chart. Uh, certainly there is more upside ahead. If you treat this, um, Think that's yeah. This is the accumulation range. Uh, my projection will be somewhere around two point five to three. So certainly there is more fill in the tank. Okay, next 